It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. It is officially that time. I am freshly rolled out of bed, so hopefully I don't look too tired. I don't even know how I'm going to approach this yet. I think I'm going to do three, maybe four songs a day until we get through the album, which means that basically my channel is going to become an Eminem reaction channel right now. There's not going to be much else uploaded. I'm pretty sure those of you guys here right now probably don't care, but I just wanted to let you know. So we got Renaissance to start it off. We will be listening in order, which I do every time a new album drops. So I don't know why people would ever go out of order. Now, if I go back to an album, I might listen to it randomly. But if I'm listening to something that just came out, I feel like it always makes sense to start at the beginning and go through to the end. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to start off with Renaissance. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous to hit the play button. Let's see what this man was cooking with. I mean, Hawk to in right in the beginning. <laughs> I'm gonna put a video out talking about her today on my main channel, actually. With balls in his do rag, he sacks, fearing no man. He stands pin in his hand like Edwards is a hand. Just likes competition and just goes about his business. Anyone who knows about him knows about his shindig, shenanigans, and all his wacky annex in the papers. Shady's dangling, a baby tangling, a blanket strangling him, hanging him over the railing by the ankles on some. The writing, as far as like the way that he places his rhymes in that last couple of bars there with the hanging the baby over the like that shit is is crazy. It's just wild to me how he writes. So he's kind of going into this immediately in the beginning, explaining Slim Shady. Basically, it's it's almost like a like an introduction to who Slim Shady is. What's funny though is talking about the baby over the thing by the ankles, like th th this whole bar right here kind of reminds me of Suge Knight and, and the rumor, I don't know if it's even true to be honest with you, of him hanging vanilla ice over the railing. Anyone who knows about him knows about a shindig, shenanigans and all his wacky annex in the papers. Shady's dangling, a baby tangled in a blanket strangling him, hanging him over the railing by the ankles on some gangster shit. Child endangerment, dark brain arcane, but it marked Wayne in it. You want Ooh, the voice switch, hold up, hold up. Back Yannick's in the papers, Shady's dangling, a baby tangled in a blanket, strangling him, hanging him over the railing by the ankles on some gangster shit, child endangerment, dark brain arcane, but it marked Twain in it. You so do we think that he did that voice himself, or he sounded like more of the older him, or do you think that he threw AI over that intro and then came in without it, right? Because there's a vast difference, and the, the, the second part that comes in Sounds more like the actual Eminem that we hear now. Listen and just goes about his business. Anyone who knows about him knows about his shindig, shenanigans, and all his wacky annex in the papers. Shady's dangling, a baby tangled in a blanket, strangling him, hanging him over the railing by the ankles on some gangster shit. Child endangerment, dark brain arcane, but it marked Twain in it. You aren't taming it, shark pain in the heart, aiming a bar chain, but it carved names in it. Start spraying and start raving them beef, start craving it. Your right arms linked up in harm's way of it. The schemes and the way that he structures it, bro, this shit is crazy. It's so wild. Just, just his his placement of of rhymes alone. The blanket strangling him, hanging him over the railing by the ankles on some gangster shit. Listen to this. Dark brain arcane, but it marked Twain in it. You aren't taming it. Shark pain in the heart, aiming a bar chain, but it carved names in it. Start spraying it, start raving them beats, start craving it. Your right arms linked up in harm's way of it. About to show your ass why I'm still a pain in it. You want to know how I do it? I can't explain the shit. Mechanics brain with a pinch of big daddy cane in it. But Ooh. I can show you the ropes till you get the hang of it. Well, I like that. Mechanics brain with a pinch of big daddy cane in it. Now... I assume he's talking about the producer mechanics. He could be talking about an actual mechanic. I think he said something about. Like, you want to know how I do it? I can't explain the shit. Like, I, I don't know if that means like an actual mechanic, like fixing shit. But I think he's talking about mechanics, the producer, which I think is out of the Bay Area. And then a pinch of Big Daddy Kane in it, which is dope. About to show your ass why I'm still a pain in it. You want to know how I do it? I can't explain the shit. Mechanics brain with a pinch of big daddy cane in it. But I can show you the ropes till you get the hang of it. Elephant tightness <laughs> and a nut element of intelligent hood. Let me rest the development. Sell it dwellers and wise intelligence. And sell it to read through hell I went. Accelerate from lack of melanin. Woo, hold up. He's dropping a whole bunch of names. Some shout outs, obviously. When I say that, I don't mean like he's dissing them. I'm pretty sure it's a shout out. Hold on. Let me go back really quick. About to show your ass why I'm still a pain in it. You want to know how I do it? I can't explain the shit. Mechanics brain with a pinch of big daddy cane in it. But I can show you the ropes till you get the hang of it. I like that. I can show you the ropes till you get the hang of it. But now he starts to go into some different groups, I'm pretty sure. Elephant tightness of the nut element of intelligent hood. Elements of intelligent hoodlums. I want to say is an album. 
by Intelligent Hoodlum, if I'm not mistaken. You the rocks, do you get the hang of it? Elephant scientists to the not element of Intelligent Hoodlum, Arrested Development. Arrested Development. Wise intelligent. Cellar Dwellers, Wise Intelligence. Like, he's throwing a bunch of names out. So, you know what I'm thinking, though? When he says the elephant Titus of the nuts, I'm curious if that's supposed to be a reference to swollen members. Because I'm like, it seems so random that that's in there. But when, then he's throwing all these other names in there, which is kind of like an allude to them, a shout to them in a respectful way. And then also said the mechanics in Big Daddy Kane Bar like a line or two ago. So to all of a sudden say that seems very random. So I'm wondering if somehow that's like an allude to swollen members. That's why I'm still a pain in it. You want to know how I do it? I can't explain the shit. Mechanics brain with a pinch of Big Daddy Kane in it. But I can show you the rocks till you get the hang of it. Elephant's eye, to the nut element of intelligent hoodlum, arrested development. Sell it dwellers in wise intelligence and sell them to read through hell. I went accelerant from lack of melanin, filling in school, smart, eloquent. Help me to rebel against shit. So well invent, so eloquently. Yeah, I was irrelevant. Soon as I quit giving the fuck, I started to sell a bit. I like that. As soon as I started to give a, I started to sell a bit. Yo. Or, so wait, wait, what did, he, did he say when I stopped giving her? Lack of melanin, filling in school, smart, eloquent. Help me to rebel against shit. So well invent, so eloquently. Yeah, I was irrelevant. Soon as I quit giving the fuck, I started okay. to celebrate. That makes more sense. Soon as I quit giving a, you started to sell a bit. But when you care too much, and that's the truth in a lot of things in life, I feel like. I, I've noticed it myself. Like, if I go and focus way too hard on certain shit, there's times where it may not actually work out. And when you kind of loosen that up a little bit and stop giving a F so much, and I'm not swearing because I don't want to get flagged, but it, 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 it kind of works in your favor. Now, obviously, you have to care somewhat, but there is a point of, like, not giving up, you know what I mean? But it, it just works out better than caring too much. I like it. It's just the way that he rhymes through this and the flow and the structure of the, the bars is just probably the most impressive thing in this whole track for me so far. Get the hang of it. I love this part. If I forgot any names or missed any of them in there, because there might be some that he mentioned that I'm just not familiar with, you guys let me know. So we got Mechanics, we got Big Daddy Kane, we got Arrested Development. He said the, um, what was the, the, the hoodlum bar, Intelligent Hoodlum, but it was the album. From the person, I'm pretty sure. He said, Cellar Dwellers. I feel like there might have been one other. I'm not going to go back again, but he, there's a lot of people that he shouted out right there. I'm curious if there's any that I missed. So eloquently, yeah, I was irrelevant. Soon as I quit giving the fuck, I started to sell a bit. Now there's travel inside the mind of a hater. Because I don't see no fans, all I see is a bunch of complainers. Kendrick's album was cool, but it didn't have any bangers. Wayne's album and Gaze couldn't tell you which one was lamer. I like this. How, how many, how many, yo, listen, because you guys are watching all the different reactors. How many reactors were like, oh my God, he took shots at Kendrick. He took shots at them all. Oh my God. He said, right off the bat, he's going in. I'm sure there's going to be someone that's going to do that. But it seems to me like this is a play on the way that haters are approaching things. Because he said, let's get into the mind of a hater. Now there's travel inside the mind of a hater. Because I don't see no fans. All I see is a bunch of complainers. Facts. album was cool, but it didn't have any bangers. Wayne's album and Gaze couldn't tell you which one was lamer. Join this album was corny. Shady's new shit is way worse. Everything is either too tame. It is too much anger. I didn't like the beat, so I hated Mike Delete later. You nerdy freak would find something wrong with 36 chambers. Yo, I liked... Okay, that was dope. That was dope because he also, as a hater, threw some shots at J. Cole's Might Delete Later, but it also played into what he was saying about his own shit. So Shady's new shit is way worse. Then he says it's either too tame or it's got too much anger. And then the, the next of the few bars, like, kind of fill in more about his album saying Might Delete Later, like actually saying I might delete it later, but then also references J. Cole's at the same time. Everything is either too tame, it is too much anger. I didn't like the beat, so I hated Mike Delete later. See, I, it's too tame or too much anger. I ain't like the beats. It was lame, it's Mike Delete later. You know what I'm saying? But also, it references what people would say about J. Cole's album, possibly as well. Everything is either too tame, it is too much anger. I didn't like the beat, so I hated Mike Delete later. You nerdy freaks would find something wrong with 36 chambers. It's what Ooh. they do to the greats. Pick a part of Picasso and make excuses to hate. So you can wait for your flowers until you're blue in the face, stupid. You ain't gonna get them until your funeral wait. <laughs> oh, 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 I, okay. Oh, I like how it unzips. <laughs> Yo, I like that. Okay, I, well, I can't go back now because it already switched the song. I ain't going to bother with it. But I like how he did that. Like, let's go into the mind of a hater and then hate it on a bunch of different albums that I'm sure he probably rates himself. Kendrick, Ye, Lil Wayne, 
talking about his shit, Joiner's shit, J. Cole's shit, and then him and J. Cole's, he kind of like meshed in together with the bars with some double meanings in there. I really enjoyed that. But that is what people do to the greats, right? Like they try to pick apart a Picasso. He's like, Yo, these are masterpieces, and people try to pick them apart. I bet you probably would find something wrong with 36 Chambers, and 100% there's people out there that would. And I respect them so much for that because it's like he don't just go to war for himself. He goes to war for the other greats and the other people that he knows deserves the respect. And he wants to make it clear, like, this is the way that you get you weirdos out there be thinking this. this I'm, I'm, I'm just pointed out, just letting you guys know. So that was a dope intro to this uh, this track. It just from everything, really, the flow. The structure of the rhymes and everything was unbelievable. I love how he showed some love to a bunch of different people. The Arrested Development, Cellar Dwellers, uh, Big Daddy Kane, Mechanics, um, Intelligent Hoodlum. I feel like there's one more that I'm forgetting now. And there might be some that I didn't catch at all. So you guys can fill me in down in the comments. But that was a, a dope little intro to it. So I'll probably get a few up today. Three, four. There's also going to be a 48 Bars Summer Rap Challenge I'm going to be dropping on my channel it's worst day ever for it. I know, I know. But if you guys find some time to check it out, I appreciate you. It might also be linked like somewhere here on the screen as I end this video. So I appreciate those that decide to check it out. Anyways, I will catch you in the next one, homies.